to you, beauty -o. We are back on Boxing to beauty -o. You know it. We've got a new set. But before we do, cut a favours I need from you. I'd really like to get the channel up to 4,000 subscribers. That'd be amazing. Thank you to everyone that's subscribed already. But if you haven't, smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up as well. If the beauty is your thing or what's your thing and just stumbled upon the channel, hopefully you'll enjoy this and it'll make you want to watch more. So hit that subscribe. Let's forget the talking. Let's forget the talking. New Sabutio set alert, and we're gonna open it straight away. We're gonna get straight into it. We will tear it down. This is an amazing, amazing concept. I've ordered this from Sabutio World. Oh god, it's fallen already. There's the box. It's sealed. Before, <laughs> before we go on this any further, I'm not a big fan of ordering stuff from Sabutio World because a few years ago, before I had the channel, I ordered something and it was open. And when I emailed them, here it is. When I emailed them to discuss it, hang on, let's put this down. Whoa, it's falling. When I emailed them to discuss it, right? They wouldn't care. I was like, you've opened this. I want to be the first one to open it. It's just explained. It was like, no, we use it to check all the stuff inside. Didn't really believe the story. Always been a bit sketchy ordering box sets often because they open stuff and I didn't really want to open. I want to be the first person to open it. If it's faulty, it's faulty. Then you send it back. You do what you got to do. You shouldn't have to check it. It's trust and supplies. But this one is completely sealed. You know what it is because you've seen the thumbnail. Brand new Sabutio set. Diego Maradona. This is cool. I'll tell you why this is cool. Because it's officially licensed by whoever owns the Maradona estate or name. It's got his signature on the box. Not really a box set for an England fan, is it? England fans aren't really going to like this. I'm sure everyone in Scotland's probably gone out and bought themselves one of them. Very simple box set. Very disappointing already from what I've seen. Months ago, Sputo released some concept art online where it showed loads of different figures. Very similar box, slightly different colour. It was green, I think. But down here in the corner, there was loads of different players. So you had Maradona in his Napoli kit, his Argentina kit, all the different teams he played for. And well, this is just Argentina. I have seen rumours that there's a Napoli version of this, pretty much exactly the same. But we all got really excited because we thought, new Sabutio set, not only is it a new Sabutio set, it's different to everything else. And it's going to be really attractive to other people because it's going to have loads of different Maradona players in it. What was we going to get? We were really excited. Well, now we've seen... It's a little bit, it's not quite what we want. It's still cool. Don't get me wrong. Still cool. I love the Argentina colouring on it. I love the official licensing, the Diego Maradona 10 bit. is pucker on there. The back is pretty much all Spanish, although it's even, it has got the English translation. But Spanish is first because this didn't come from Paul Le Monde. Paul Le Monde, who licensed the game in England and distribute it, they didn't make this. This is made by Eleven Force. Now, Eleven Force are the same as Paul Le Monde. They licensed the game in Spain. They do this. They've done loads of... Box sets in the past for Barcelona, Real Madrid, Deportivo, I'm looking at up there. The UEFA Champions League one, I think, was them as well. So slightly different, but we'll see. Apparently, the goals have improved. I believe it when I see it. I don't think they have. Pitch is there, the ball's there. Let's open this up and see if it's an improvement or a downgrade on any of the sets we've seen. Come on down to the table. So there it is, there's the box. Let's give you a closer look, save me throwing it around. You've got your normal Sabutio branding. I like the Argentina flag in the back. I like the Diego Maradona signature there. The back, as I said, Spanish, English. There are new Bendy players, if you don't know. In fact, you know what, I'll say this now while I start cutting it open. I'm gonna try and do this like a YouTuber. I'm gonna do a video, it's just give me an idea to do a video on different player types, because I always say on this channel, I don't necessarily want to appeal to the Sabutio community. Of course I do. Of course I love that you will watch. But what I really want to do with this is appeal to people you don't necessarily play Sabutio, just have an enjoyment. Like I enjoy watching videos about wrestling figures and such. That was so satisfying to carve. So I'll do a video about the different player types, because this is obviously quite a modern player type. <clears throat> Box lid off for the first time. Modern players, oh, it's disappointingly packaged, isn't it? Nothing in there. Pitch, nicely rolled up, Sabutio pitch. Quality, quality pitch. Not this pitch, doesn't get enough. The goals, are they improved? I'll let you go through my previous videos on these and have a look because we all know I don't like the new modern goals. The nets are awful. First thing I notice, first thing I notice, ball, 10. Nice. It's a nice touch. The players, we've got a red team and then we've got Argentina. These are, as I was saying, these are the new flexi figures, but they're the newer, newer figures. They are very cartoony. There's Maradona. But first, we'll have a look at these. I find these figures quite cartoony in themselves. I don't know how that's focused. I can't see what you're looking at. But it's the stockiness. When I say cartoon, let me show you what I mean. Again, this is a, a 60s, 70s figure. They're just, they just seem to be a bit more, I don't know, have a bit more character. These are a bit more cartoony, a bit bulkier, a bit stockier. Get in there. Can't get him in. Back over there you go. So we've got, we've got 11 players. Old and Argentina is a bit wonky. The packaging's okay. Oh, I'll tell you what we are missing. 
before we go into that, for manual, uh, game rules. <sighs> I keep saying it, I've said it's disputed directly. The game rules are pants. They just look like photocopy bits of paper. You get English, you get Spanish in this. Obviously it's from the Spanish distributor. Disappointing. Back to this. At least we've got inlay tray again. The inlay tray is still a good thing. Pitch, right. Maradona, let's have a look at Maradona. 10 on the back, I'll tell you what else I've just noticed as well. Nice gold base, it actually makes him look like a flicking goalkeeper, I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute. But he's got, I suppose, is that meant to be, yeah, the hair, they've gone for that when he had the sort of bouffant in the 80s, haven't they? But I'll tell you what I've noticed, hold on one second, let me leave him now. The Liverpool set that came out last year, had a Mo Salah figure in it. Well, that looks, apart from, that looks more like Mo Salah, right? And it's got the same haircut as Maradona. They've not necessarily used a figure to look like Maradona. They've used what they've got. Not as creative as they could have been. Salah, get back in your box. We don't care about you anymore. I suppose you've got to use what you got, paint what you got. They're not going to create new figure types for it. What I do like is the number on the back. The numbers on the back of these are that classic sort of, in fact, no, they're not. They're different, are they? I don't know. So there's 10, which looks like the classic sort of Maradona 10, same as what's on that ball. Uh, it is, but the five, do they look different? What's that one? Four's a little bit smudged. Two, I'm not gonna look at more one to 11, but I just feel like there's more emphasis on the 10 than the other ones. Maybe it's just me. What do you reckon on the away team? Anything on them or is it box standard? Normal numbering, look. So they've got normal numbering on them. No away team. That could have been Napoli in itself, couldn't it? Or it could have been, dare I say, it could have been England. Or it could have been Germany. It could have been anyone they beat. Holland, I think they had a good game at. Could have been any of them. But instead, they've just gone for standard red. The goalkeeper for the Argentine side. The figure's just come out. It's just a plain black keeper. Mm, not all that. Uh, do you know what, right? I want to love this set. I do really, really want to love it. And I like the idea that they put Maradona on a gold... Maradona? Who, who did I just say? I love the idea they put Maradona on a gold base. But it just... Because they've let us down so much in saying we was going to get all these different figures and, or led us on or whatever, I just feel a bit disappointed to Beauty Open. There's the ball. The ball's nice. Oh, it's not the greatest. New balls can be a bit touch and go. It appears to roll straight. Just a bit of a seam on it. It looks nice though. It's a beauty on the other side of that. Let's make sure we show that off. The goals, we're not even going to attempt to put them. Is there an open on the pitch like Maradona? Because you'll, you'll know that with a pretty green set we got, that pretty green written all over it. This pit, I tell you what, I, I, I'm, 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 being, I'm doing to be early in Duffy's here. They've got better. This pitch is amazing. I can feel it already. These pitches deserve a lot more than what they get. Any Maradona branding on it? No, just some beauty around the edge. I don't want to unfold it. Oh, I'm going to have to. We're looking for the words Maradona or the 10. No. No, it's just a standard pitch. Doesn't matter though. The pitch in itself is absolutely awesome. Honestly, I have no idea how much I love this pitch and how much I stick up for it because it is brilliant. Seriously great start pitch. If you're a retro football fan and you're like collecting things from old football, this set's definitely for you. If you're a Maradona fan, if you're a Napoli fan, this is a set for you. If you're Scottish, probably a set for you. If you're Welsh, Irish, anyone but English, this is a set for you. Look great in the collection. I do love the box art. The box art's fantastic. That's probably the best bit about the whole box. That'll look really good in the collection up there. But I love the idea that they've put Maradona on a goal base, even though it does make him look like a flicking goalkeeper. So if you have absolutely no idea what I'm on about, in sort of, in Sibutio, when you play at games and stuff like that, you have your goalkeeper. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have your ten outfield players, you have your goalkeeper, and then you also have another keeper that you can use on the side. So if your keeper's kicking the ball, you flick him. Sometimes he has a different colour base to match the goalkeeper. That kind of makes him look like a goalkeeper. In my eyes, I don't know if you see it, I'm holding it all the way there. That kind of makes him look like a goalkeeper. How do they flick? It's a lovely touch, it really is. They flick all right, he's unpolished. I probably won't be very good with him. I'm not very good with any type of figure. At least you ain't fallen over yet. A little bit disappointed. We could have had two 
Maradona teams in here. Easily. Easily could have happened. We could have had two Maradona teams, but we haven't. We've just gone for a straight red away. Little disappointed. Similar to like when they did the Liverpool set, we said the away kit could have been the second. Instead of just throwing a blue in now. Pitch is great. Goals are bad. The box itself looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, the box art's the best bit. Will I be buying a Napoli one? Yes, I will, because I want it in my collection. Is this one of the best box sets they've brought out in a while? No, and look, the new box sets get a lot of stick. And I, in fact, I tell you what, let's go jump on so you can actually see me. So the new box sets do get a lot of stick, right? Personally, I think they're great. They're a great introduction to the game. Anyone coming back, showing that nostalgia, fantastic. The teams are great, they don't break as more, they have that little flex bit. Let me show you. They're a little bit flexible like that, so you're not gonna tread on them and snap as much. Perfect for kids to get into it. Excellent start level, the pitches are awesome. The new start sets are good. It's good to get a set in there, but I just feel the execution on inside this box is a letdown because we were teased. Box art looks amazing. That looks brilliant. It'd be great to see if we can get more licenses like this. I mean, last year's box sets were brilliant. The women's set was great. The 75 set got a lot of heat. I quite liked it. I thought it was really good. I feel it was a lovely idea. The England set's been good. The Liverpool set was a great idea. The pitches they're throwing in are good. We still need to improve the goals, yes. But this is a nice way forward. If we can get licenses like this, a Maradona set, maybe we can do a Pele a legacy collection. I don't know. Maradona, Pele, we're never going to get to the collectors out there that always hop back to the old stuff. We're not going to get the old branding anymore. It's just not, we're not going to get Waddington's green boxes. We're not going to get the original 60s, 70s box designs. Why? I don't know why. I don't work this bit but we, it's clear. We're not going to get it. We're going to get boxes like this. That looks pucker. Little bit of work to go on on the inside. The players are okay. Instructions need to be worked on. Goals need to be worked on. And then just keep working with this ideas. We could have Pele, Cruyff. Think of all them amazing players. Gascoin set. That'd be awesome as well. Think of all the players that play Sabutio. Buffon. Buffon's a huge, huge Sabutio fan. Put him on a box. Goalkeeper's edition. George Best. Bobby Moore. We could stick him on now. Get the license. What a great way to take Sabutio. The only other way we could take Sabutio, I say, lower league sides. Get them involved. But that's the story for another day. Overall, what do I give it out of 10? Six. Six out of ten. It's a good set. It's a nice set to have in the collection. Will it appeal to anyone who's not a Sabutio collector? Mm, I don't know. I'm really, really not sure. If someone's a big Maradona fan, then yes, they're going to have that in their collection. Is someone else going to go out and see it? I don't know. We're probably not going to see this in UK shops. You're probably going to see it online because it's an 11 false issue one. So I got this from Sabutio World. Paid however much it says on the screen right now because I've forgotten. Maybe a little bit overpriced. But if we can get Paul Lamond doing their style on this. If we can get Paul Lamond getting English licenses, getting these into shops, that would sell. It's nice to see, I'll tell you what, I'll end on this. It's nice to see Sabutio in shops, right? I go into game, the computer game shop. We've got Sabutio sets in there. I see them in various different shops. People always take photos now. Oh, seen this in there, seen this in that shop, blah, blah, blah. It'd be good to get them into shops with Maradona, George Best, Pele, anyone you can think of. Classic players, that would get people buying them and get people looking at them and being like, oh, I remember Sabutio. I remember when I played Sabutio as a kid. I used to pretend the player was Maradona. I used to pretend the player was Pele. Well, there you go. It's the way forward. Get into club shops. Charlie George on an Arsenal one. I got my Arsenal top one. Get Charlie George on, get it in the Arsenal shop. Well sell out. Oh, I think I do too much talking. I should do more demo with Mr. Beauty, really, shouldn't I? That's my opinion on it. Let me know yours down in the comments. I'll be back really soon unboxing Mr. Beauty. I'm going to do that video as well on different player types as well. And I've seen other channels do that as well, but I'm a little bit more pretty, so I'm going to enjoy doing that one. Got the unboxing coming up. Got a video coming up where I'm getting the wife to finally play Mr. Beauty. Let's see if we can get her into World Cup 2024. I'll see you all soon. Hopefully at the Collector's Fairs. We've got two coming up. We've got the Leicester one coming up soon. Drop some details down in the description. And we've got Mr. Beauty Fest coming up as well. Don't hate to the World Cup fund as well, because we want to make the best. World Cup, it's your World Cup, everyone come down and see that, links to that in the description as well, blah blah blah, most of you have probably turned off already, if you are still watching, hit the subscribe button, give me thumbs up, talk to me on the socials, I'll see you very soon in the videos I just spoke about, and as always, keep on picking. <laughs>